Hi, today we're in Mark chapter 12 as we continue our journey through the end of Mark. Through Mark, uh, we're getting close to the end of the end of the book. And the key word for this chapter, I believe, is is power. Um, Jesus is in a a battle, a competition uh, for power, for authority, and uh, it, it takes place in the temple in Jerusalem, the seat of power, the center of power for Judaism of, of his day. And it, it really began in the last chapter where Jesus uh, turned over the tables and, and threw out the traders and said, this, my father's house is to be a house of prayer. But as it, it keeps moving through, uh, we 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 see Jesus, first of all, criticize, tell the parable that criticizes the Pharisees and the religious leaders, and they recognize that that's the case. Then there's a question of a showdown between Jesus. Who should we give money to, God or Caesar? Who has the power? Who has the authority? Then there's this question. There's the, the Sadducees think, well, we are so clever. We can sort this out. We're more clever than Jesus. We've got a question that will stump him, and they try to trip him up. And, and I think it's really appropriate that Jesus then has this passage on the greatest command, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and strength. And this is I, you know, the center, the greatest command. And it goes back to Deuteronomy. It's a, a, a passage that is uh, familiar, very familiar to, to the Jews. And then love your neighbor as, as yourself. And so he, he centers what it means to be a follower of God, not on power, but rather on love, loving God, loving people. And when we do that, we show God to the world. That's our calling. That was Jesus' mission, and it's our mission too. Go do it today.